hi students today we are going to learn another watercolor landscape to do this landscape we require chart paper pencil watercolors and two containers of water two bowls of water two bowls of water and one palette and brushes this material we require first i am drawing landscape here i am dividing into two equal parts here above one part and below one part above it is smaller and below it is little broad, broader after drawing this now i am drawing mountains here one mountain and here another mountain next here i am drawing some trees just slightly and here little big trees and here little more bigger one after here few more trees i am drawing here one tree here one tree and here one tree i'm drawing and here one tree also i'm drawing after here some bushes now i'm drawing land part land part i'm drawing like this and here i'm drawing this way and here a big greenery like a one bush a two bushes we have this one bush this one bush after this reflection i'm drawing here An opposite angle like this way i did the reflection outline next here this tree reflection i'm drawing here like this this way here some greenery reflection <coughs> after now i'm going to start watercolors i'm taking watercolor light blue and black i'm taking for sky yes taking light blue here and black here very lightly i'm taking after i'm spreading water with the big brush only to the sky spreading water even on this trees also you can spread after spreading it now i am taking light blue and gray color first i am using black color with more water looks like a gray tone just like 
cloud effects I am doing this and here also some effects like this now I am spreading light blue with water this one and little darker here and little black on that like this a spreader blue color and black color like this now okay and same blue color and spreading here down of this clouds gray clouds and here some color like that now this way I have done the sky part mm. now I am going to do the next step same effect in the water here this is the water I am spreading and this water area also making it wet and now this part also same colors I am using first light black means light gray tone yeah You should spread without uh, patches. Little dark ground here. And now, washing, just cleaning the brush, and uh, after cleaning the brush, here blue color I'm applying. This way, and this also applied blue color somewhere here. After making this, <coughs> I am going to start the 
this mountain effect with this both the colors and little green viridian green in this blue and black taking viridian green and the blue and black yes viridian green blue and black i'm mixing now I'm spreading this viridian green here to this mountain and that some blue tones I am joining just adding some blue color after the other side of the mountain using gray and little brown I am mixing in the gray little brown color mixing in the gray this one I am spreading here other side of the mountain by leaving thin white gaps like this and this way oh yeah and here little dark green viridian green and black I mixed and here on the gray I am spreading these colors like this after doing that the same color here at the edge of this mountain, I am spreading the grey and also some area here lightly like this and also making this colors little lighter by wiping this what this way mountains we have done after completion of the mountains now i am going to do the greenery this greenery i am going to start taking lemon yellow and viridian green i'm using lemon yellow and viridian green lemon yellow first i'm spreading here this area and from here i'm mixing viridian green Three lemon and low. That some blue and black colors I am spreading with viridian green randomly. This viridian green I am spreading here till down like this and here I am doing continuity after here making very darker using this brown viridian green and black 
brown varied in green and black i am using making it very much darker like this way yeah making it very much darker and this stamping i am doing then it looks like some bushes and some trees in in middle the same color again i'm repeating here and here one stroke just like this now this part of the land same the star green varied in green brown and uh, black color and spreading in middle spreading with uh, yellow like this this way i did this part now coming to the down part again yellow i am spreading this entire portion check it has to get dry then only you have to apply the yellow otherwise this and this will get smudged and will become see this way to happen so that check after dry only you do that hello hello now on this at the edges use mm, brown color and blending with hello at the bottom of this line here again hello in this way doing the line part after in that take the red in green and spread very lightly on the yellows it's spread very very lightly on the yellows this varied in green here mm. here and here also and take some black and spread in middle of this where it in green like there roughly just do some grass effects so after doing that now i am going to do the land part here land part varied in green and bit black and brown i am taking and this land part i am going to do i 
Ja. Will this land part? Like this. And even the other side of this land also. Just do like this. Mm. This. After that, now I'm going to do the mountain in the reflection, taking brown and bit black, spreading these colors to the mountain very, very lightly. Like this way, hmm. like this, even here also very lightly. Now mixing brown and black and making it darker this down part of this mountain yeah making it dark again the same color here I am spreading this again to here this on this mountain this way, this mountain part I colored. After coloring this mountain, now some blue tones I am adding on the mountain. Some blue color tones I am adding on the mountain, like this on brown. This. <coughs> After making this, now I am going to do some darker tones here, like putting this way, just like this, even here also. Just some effects. Okay. After here also, I'm increasing the darkness. And now I'm going to do this bushes using low and this varied in green and black even some brown this color sap green tone will get the sap green tone just I am spreading here randomly and some areas darkers some areas Lighter, I am spreading like this. And leaving some thin white gaps. In the same way, down also, I am spreading same this varied in green black and brown this varied in green black and brown this darker colors and down also i am spreading
Wrong. Some areas darker, some areas lighter, like this way. If you do, we'll get some bush effect again in this also middle you have to leave some white lightings this way and above here mainly use very light green and do here and if to show the two bushes separation you can wipe also you can wipe color to show the separation of the bushes here down again is so as it is some darkers and some lighter effects using brown and black now increase brown bit now brown color I'm increasing bit the color and using some small small stroke like this In this way And fill this greenery yeah a little darker I did so two steps I am trying to show yes some small small dots you put after this same effect you must try to bring in other place also before that some brown tones we will add to create little more interesting in coloring some brown tones I'm adding some areas then beside of this brown you can put L instead of putting light bright yellow direct if you apply brown and beside of that if you apply some yellows it looks like more effective and looks like flowers after dry we have to put this yellow now i'm going to do the this greenery part this greenery part again same way this browns and we did in green and black same these colors I'm using now taking little darker to this part I'm applying a bit darker to the reflection Now, above part, I'm going to do little lighter. Like this. Hmm. Above more lighter, I'm going to do. this way and putting some darker effects like this now I'm going to start these trees and this uh, darker area now just I'm putting some 
darker tones in this first using dark green and black roughly after making this now I am going to do the trees trees I am mixing black and green darkest green tone I'm using now first I am drawing here tree and this tree is almost more white I am doing mm, just with the brush roughly and darkly I'm doing this yes, sir. Mm, doing next tree here this so here thin to broad I am doing this here another small tree I am doing and like this and after that little longer tree this size mm, after that here very very small trees few trees And here, just put some tree. like this now this part this greenery part is separate by giving one darker stroke here like this and make it little draw like this way now coming to this part till here you make darker tone now here you do again trace here one and here one and in middle some small small trees and after 
coming to next year one so some bigger some smaller some darker some lighter if you show like that it brings more beauty to the picture here again few more uh, like like one thin tree and here another one big and broad tree this way showing some trees it looks more attractive and here i left some greenery it looks like some slope and now you and thin tree now one more big tree i am going to do here it's very very long tree i am doing here this way Just stamping like this. And after doing these trees, and if you find any like some areas, you can put dark tones. Like this, this way, these trees are done. Now, this tree and this bush, we have to make separation. We are giving some darker tones like this. Yes, sir. Now in this bush, yes, I am giving some thin, thin strokes. It's the same dark green color. Mm. this one done now we have to apply some color to this land part here until dark we have to make some areas mixing brown and a bit black Mm. And also some dark we have to do. Now Next, I'm going to do this reflections of trees inside this uh, in the water. First, I'm finishing this mountain. This green part I'm doing this way here. Yeah. 
and next some um, effects to this land after now we can do reflections of the trees using the same color in this here also mm, here also mm, here also I am doing reflections like this the reflections are done almost now uh, this mountain edge I am making bit darker we are giving some darker tone with the brown only brown and little black as well after doing this our landscape is almost done just few effects we have to give here also some trees we have to do little longer like this and here light green stroke and separating this light green with the dark green using brown and black this way after same brown color I am giving here in middle of this bushes middle of this trees mm. here also mm. here some thin thin lines on the land like this looks little natural and in that also little dark tone on the brown like this no with a brown like this this way our landscape is almost done just we need to do some effects with the dark green yes thin thin strokes with the dark green I am giving like this
Nice looks. Hotel. Good greenery. More attractive it looks. This way. After doing this, now just we need to give some dark operations to this. giving some dark operation and same darkness spreading here some part okay students this way we have to do the landscape with simple spreading techniques and dry techniques if you miss anything you even watch the previous video of the landscape that is little simple landscape if you follow from that video then you can do this easy way here i am putting some flowers like this okay done now try few more watercolor landscapes using same these techniques okay all the best